What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex. Welcome to Alex Roberts Fishing. So today we're on Lake Eufaula fishing as a co-angler in the Alabama Bass Nation. This is one of our tournaments for the year. Last time I was down here at Lake Eufaula was the state championship last year. I think I had a something like a 12th or 13th place finish. So it was it was a good derb. It was tough that time of year, but I think this time of year will probably be a little better. Uh, it's spring, you know, things are happening. The fish are kind of in, in a weird spot because of the weather and the water temperature. But uh, hey, we have a lot of new people to the channel. I appreciate you guys subscribing and joining. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, just hit that button. It's really easy. It's the best way to help me make these videos. So appreciate you guys doing that. But without further ado, I'm really looking forward to this one. I love Lake Eufaula, so let's go fish the Bass Nation. One of the trends that Josh seems to have when he goes to Eufaula is breaking things and about an hour into the day we continued this hallowed tradition. Also you guys will have to excuse the different background here. I'm traveling taking care of some family stuff. Unbelievable. What's wrong with it? Is this turning? That one we will not move. Right, yeah. but if we were. So. Mm hmm. Just the prop won't turn. Nope. Alright, so how are we going to fish? Like a connection in the pedal? That's yes, what I'm talking about, that switch there. Uh. So one of the things I want you guys to pay attention to in the next couple minutes here is our conversation. Uh, you know, we had a little bit of a decision to make here and I think Josh really showed his experience here, his depth of knowledge in the fishing world. And I kind of showed my na naivete, if you will, um, with just my reaction to what happened. I'm trying to... Uh... Not losing my mind right now. Yep. <clears throat> You're trying to not put it back on a trailer. I'm not putting it on a trailer. That one? 
Some help. Get him in. Good job, dude. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Come on, Josh. Thank you, Lord. What I was saying is we're going to stay right here for a while. <laughs> oh my goodness. Close his little mouth. Short. Yeah, he barely It's alright, they're here. You think it's a keeper? I don't think so. It needs to touch longer than the one I just weigh, uh, measured. Yeah, they will. Sure enough. Look at that. Thank you. Yes. Right, number one. Definitely not the size we need, but. I'm so thankful for that fish. There you go. You want some help? Yes, sir. You got him? You want my help? Amish. Just take your time, dude. You got him. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Let's go, dude. Look at that one. Good job, man. Trolling motors out. I don't 
Probably a keeper. He's short. Think so? Yeah. We got a tournament. Uh, Lake Point. A little bit short, huh? <laughs> How long will we have it? Thank you, Lord. So at this point, our thought process was that if we could actually stay on the angle we wanted to on that bridge with the trolling motor, we probably had a better chance of catching a limit. Uh, we probably did this for about an hour and then just gave up on it because it was obvious it wasn't going to happen. So we bounced around to a couple other areas, a couple other bridges and things that looked like what we'd been catching the fish on before. And it panned out for Josh once he got another fish, um, number three for him. Uh, it did not pan out for me, but we kept, kept on pushing. There's a little bite. It was like bluegill bite. Yeah, I see it. Bluegill or crappie maybe. Got one? Could be. Spot. Look at that spot, dude. Holy cow. That's a big spot. Inches here, right? Yep, you're good. You are good, my friend. Good job, dude. Where was he? He was out in that brush Yes. There's a bite. Small. Small. Not a spot. Dang it. No. Large mouth. Do what? You want to catch fish, man. Yeah. Look at you. That's not a, not a bad one, dude. 
There you go. Good job, dude. Hey, Tommy. 38, Josh and Alex. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. We had a good day. Uh, we had a, an eventful day. We did. Okay. That's a nice one right there. We got some good ones. Let me hold it. You can open it up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what pounds? Maybe 10. That's that spot. Mm hmm. Josh D's, four fish, four lives. What you got, Alex? Just one. One fish, one live for Alex. 11.73. What's your boat number? 38. Alex Roberts, one fish, one live. <laughs> one point five eight. Thank you. Let me get one. Got it. See if I can crank you up. Well, uh, you know, Josh and I were just talking. We're at the end of the day here. Got the boat on the trailer. We're about to head back home. Uh, that was somewhat of a disappointing day. You know, losing your trolling motor for, for half the day really put the damper on things as far as just being efficient when you're trying to fish. But overall, you know, Josh and I were just talking and he said something really good, which was that we made the most and had probably the best day we could have given, you know, everything that went on. So, so I guess one of the things I didn't really do in my outro that I filmed was congratulate Josh. He made the most of the day, uh, more than I did even. I mean, he, he had a great day and I'm just so happy for him for the, for that result. I think he finished in 20th place, moved up to 30th in AOY. I think I finished in 36th and I stayed in 14th. So honestly, with that day, um, to stay just in place for me in AOY is a big accomplishment. So I'm proud of that. I'm happy because of that. Um, but obviously it was a challenging day. So I wanted to just jump in here in the middle of the outro and congratulate Josh because he did an awesome job. You know, disappointed in my performance, only having one fish that doesn't set me up well for the rest of the year. But, you know, we had a good start. Luckily, we've got ourselves a little bit of breathing room. So you know, a bump in the road is not the end of the world. Uh, and tournaments like this are just part of the game. You know, um, it, it was tough out there. Not going to lie, of course. But, you know, that's that's part of the deal when you get into this stuff. And uh, I'm going to head home now. But I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.